Hello folks, Hot Rod Rodney 25 coming back to you with another mail call. Some more eBay purchases that I got in the mail today. Um, first off, this Lionel number 233 and you can see it's uh, E-Unit um, lever right there. It's kind of, I think it's like plastic, pretty sure, yeah, it's a pl uh, plastic one. Um, this does have a smoke unit in it. I just tested it. It does work. Um, the reverse works. Um, the only problem with um, putting it in reverse and or putting it, in neutral and getting it to go forward or reverse as you um, turn the transformer on and off to do so. Um, it wants to sort of act like um, some of the marks um, E-units would. It would go forward for a while and then um, switch backwards or vice versa. Um, so I put it up in forward only. Um, till one exactly like it comes that came or that I got with a tender, um, which is the same locomotive, just um, it comes with a, the other one comes with a tender. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one, I might send it down the road to my friend to, um, so he has a engine that smokes. Um, I traded him one, um, a year or so ago for other train stuff. Um, and I, I have actually bought another one like the one that I had traded in, but it did not smoke. This is, um, I'm going to say it's a, uh, what do they call them? Not a prairie, but, a um, it might be a, Col similar to a Columbia, Columbian, or Columbia, whatever that one locomotive is called. But um, I'm trying to think of the actual um, name of the other one because it's basically the same engine. It starts with a C, but I can't put my can't put my um, tongue on the word. But um, anyway. This is a number 233. It does smoke. It's missing a jewel on the front. Um, and of course, it's missing that one. But this one here is broke off on the left-hand side. But the headlight works. Everything works. I'm going to probably grease it up after my other one gets here to make sure the other one works okay. The other one, I think, has both jewels and all that up front. Um, but I, I may I may give this one to my friend down the road so he can he has something that smokes for his layout for Christmas. Um, I'm not sure yet. I may keep it for the parts. I I don't know. I'm really decided. But anyway, that's from one eBay buyer. Well, actually, um, to conclude that same eBay buyer, or to go on with that same eBay buyer, the same eBay, eBay buyer, um, or seller, seller, I'm sorry, not eBay buyer, I was the eBay buyer. Oh, jeez, I just, I'm, I'm confused, I think, um. But I bought this New York Central um, K-Line caboose 
from the same seller, not buyer, seller. Um, I think all the rain moisture outside went to my brain. I think it's flooded or something. Anyway, um, it lights, it works. Um, I'm not, I didn't turn the transformer or nothing on, guys, so, um, I'm not doing all that tonight. I'm just down here trying to make this quick video. From another eBay buyer, I bought this Chessy system tender, and what it actually is, it's one of these rattle wheels that... Um, go in underneath. I had just got done t taking it out and what it does is your as the Tenders going down the track this rolls on your middle rail and you you Lionel and Mark's and American Flyer and all them guys knows this um, But it'll come down and it'll make it sound supposed to be like a chugging sound um, as you can see, the belt covering on it ain't the greatest. It got caught on something when I was trying to roll the thing back and forth on the test track. And it got kind of annoying with all that rattling. So, I took it out. And so I have a free... Rolling tender, and that will go over here on this train that I made up the other night. That mostly has Chessy system cars on it, a couple Western Maryland's, um, CSX, and that rail rail gone. Gongola right there is also on there, and it's got a um, Western Maryland caboose. But I'm going to take, um, and that's my 2035, which is the same thing as a 2025, 20, just different number. Um, and somewhere, wherever my dad had packed them away, off of eBay, I bought new... Boiler covers, I evidently then put the one that I bought for this one on because both jewels are still missing. And if I would have put the new one on, the jewels wouldn't be um, missing. So, um, where my 2035 will go back to, I don't know. It's magnet traction as well as the little. Um, 233 which is one reason why I found this one for like 14 bucks on eBay um cuz it ran and smoked and um etc etc and it was a nice little engine and I thought of my friend because um I've been wanting to try to find him a different engine to switch out on his layout every once in a while from the other one. Um, this one is basically, I think this one's like plastic. I think it's mostly a plastic body and stuff like that. Um, it might not all be plastic, but um, It's a it's pretty good little looking good little engine. Um so but it's also magnet traction is what I wanted to say. As you can see. And you like I said, you Lionel O gauge O scale guys will know that. You can see it's a little the wheels are a little worn from use but 
it'll be all right. And basically, it'll be good for his layout because it's only a one track layout and it goes around off his main layout around on over top of his fireplace mantle and stuff and the track the way he put it down is kind of close in places so i also thought of that you know this being magna traction at least the engine won't go tumbling off for some unknown reason um usually magna traction will not come off the track or less, you know, there's something totally, totally wore out. That it don't want to magnetize no more. So, that's my mail call video for this time. Um, there'll be more stuff in the mail coming um, soon. But until the next video, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, ding the bell for future notifications. Comment in the section below. And Hot Rod Rodney 25 out.